Hi there, Darren from Darren T Fitness here. Hey, thanks for taking the time to, to tune in to the video today. Um, just kind of wanted to expand a little more on what I was talking about yesterday. Um, about, you know, not fitting in, feeling like you don't fit in places and, and fit in with other people and things like that. You know, that can be stressful. Um, I know it has been for me in the past when I feel like I don't really fit in. I don't, you know, feel like I have anything in common with these people. And, you know, it's kind of, you kind of feel like you're all alone and, and by yourself and stuff. And, you know, like, you know, like, just like you don't fit in, so you, you kind of keep thinking about it. And the more you think about it, the more stressful it becomes, the more you keep worrying. And then it just be, it just really drags you down and everything and gets you into that negative, dark place. Um, I know I've been there. Um, I don't know if you've noticed that. Um, if, if you're stressed out, you know, what are you thinking about? You know, are you, are you thinking, you know, kind of negative with a negative tone? You know, like, I don't fit in, you know, nobody likes me, things like that. Um, you know, that's some things that you really, we kind of have to watch and, and try to turn those thoughts back around into something positive. Um, it, it can be hard. You just have to find ways to, to cope with it a little bit more. Um, uh, some things that I do, um, you know, like I said, some of the thoughts, you know, if, I'm, if I catch myself thinking something, I kind of try to turn around into a positive so that I'm not dwelling on the, on the negative uh, part of it. Um, you know that way I can kind of it kind of keeps you up and then if, if you and um, if you like read or like a personal development type book or some kind of a motivational book um, there's different books out there there's a lot of books by veterans um, I know extreme ownership um, comes to mind by Jocko Willink and Leif Babin I believe is the co-author on that um, but that's a really great book to read um, a retired Navy SEAL but he talks about you know taking ownership of things and and just moving on saying okay that's good. That happened. Now we're gonna learn from it. And we're gonna move on. So that's kind of you know the, that's kind of what you have to do. You kind of have to you know you know whatever you're thinking you kind of think okay well you know I don't fit in. Well why don't I fit in? You know just just because they're all younger. Or I'm working around you know maybe a bunch of young ladies that are you know all new moms and just had babies and things like that. Um, and all they do is yap about their babies all day. <laughs> you know or you know just and you know, you're a guy and you're not really into that kind of thing you know I mean I don't hear many guys sitting around talking about babies all day um not that there's anything wrong with that because hey you know if that's what you're into or if, you know if there's a lot of happy proud proud dads out there that's great um but uh you know you kind of want to if you, you know start reading some books like that you know kind of try to turn it around you know try to figure out just find ways just to you know I mean you don't have to associate with them all the time you know, just be nice and congenial and stuff like that and if you're in a situation where it's really making you feel uncomfortable just kind of start putting your feelers out and look for look for something else look for a change or something or start your own business or something like that um it's kind of what I've I've been doing and, and another thing I've been really getting into lately has been getting into fitness um I think that's helped my stress a lot um the last year and a half I, really, I was really stressed out in the last three or four years and uh now I've, I've been kind of I've been doing working out pretty much every day and you know getting a workout in, getting a good sweat in, um, and that's helped me a lot. Um, I don't know a lot of people have, have turned to that. It seems to be helping a lot of different people just with different things, um, and then being around, trying to be around positive people. You know, just connect with some people online if if you don't want to go out and, and meet new people all the time, because um, that can be stressful to trying to meet somebody new. Um, you know, trying to start a friendship or something. And a lot of times you can do it online and it's real easy. Uh, or you can get just get associated with some different groups or something like I am. And um, we're, we all have things in common. We're veterans, you know, we're, we work out, you know, things like that. But just kind of do some things like that to kind of keep, you know, kind of help you out and keep keep you going. And and um, just, you know, like they just try to take ownership and just, hey, you know what happened, you know, or, or you know, I don't fit in. Why? Just because, you know, I'm an, I'm older than everybody else or I'm younger than everybody else. Hey, you, know, you could probably find one or two things, you know, if you talk to one person, you could probably find one or two things that you've got in common or something, you know, maybe you've got somebody, maybe their, their son or daughter is looking to go into the military and you've been in the military, you know, and you could kind of give them some advice or something. You could talk about that, you know, or maybe, maybe they like to work out too, you know, maybe you, you know, Cause when I was younger, I used to I used to go play racquetball with people that were a lot older than me, you know. So, um, you know, it's just different things like that you can do. Um, you don't have to, you know, sit there and, you know, take them out to lunch and dinner and all that kind of stuff. You know, you can just, you know, 
just kind of try to carry on just a casual conversation. It doesn't mean you don't have to sit there and talk to them all day. You know, you'd probably get fired if you did that at work. Um, but just kind of keep, you know, some things like that in mind and, and see if those help you. Um, and I hope that um, I didn't ramble too much and you found this useful. And uh, if you did, please share. Uh, maybe somebody else can get some information out of it. Um, you know, I'm trying to help as many people as I can, so um, I appreciate any help that you can give. Uh, if you've got any tips or any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. And thanks a lot again for watching the video tonight, and um, you'll have a good one, and we'll see you on the next video.